Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm so happy to be recording another video because it's been way too long. It's been since the end of July and it's like, oh, well, not even the middle of August, but it feels like ages. Um, I have another video waiting to be published, but I've had some requests for another day in my life. So I'm gonna post this one first and then the other video will come next week or the week after. It's a day in my life, but um, not food focused. So like all the other things I do outside of just eating because you know, there's a lot more to life than just food. Um, so yeah, I'm posting this one, then the other one in a few weeks. And um, of course, when I get to university, I'll also be posting a video from there because who wouldn't want to know what I eat at university, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, before I start off today's um, video, I want to just say that because of the many requests, I've started an Instagram a few weeks ago. Today, I also posted my very first Transformation Tuesday photo, which was very difficult for me. Um, it felt like I was really showing a vulnerable side of me that I have never really showed anyone. So I posted... I posted this photo. Let's see if it will focus. Yes. And I really thought a very long time about whether I would or wouldn't post it, but ultimately I did. I've gotten a lot of sweet comments. Um, keep fighting, you're doing so well, and you know, the like, which which made me um, really very happy and I'm very proud of where I've come. My weight is not yet where it has to be, um, but it's come a long way. The first photo, um, the before photo was from 2012. The after photo was just a few days ago, so 2016, and um, the two photos are, I believe, four kilos of difference or something like that, which is not that much. And I've got a comment um, saying, isn't four kilos in four years a bit, like, not a lot at all? Which I totally agree with. I'm pretty sure you can do four kilos in a month or two months, but um, yeah. It's not just it's not just the four kilos um, from my worst points. I have gained about sixteen kilos, so it's it's more than just four kilos. And if someone would have given me a magic wand and told me you can get these sixteen kilos in, say, a week instead of a few years, then yes, I would have done that. But Sadly, I didn't have those tools. I didn't quite have all the um, professional help or the, the, the right treatment available to me as a foreigner. Um, so, yeah, if, if I could have sped up the process, I would have. And if you can speed up the process, then please do, because I wholeheartedly agree that the faster you get this over with, the better. Um, I think that's about it for my ramble because I don't quite have a lot of time. I'm gonna grab myself a snack in a moment and then soon I'm gonna be off for dinner. I'm meeting up with some people at a restaurant tonight, um, which is pretty cool. And then tomorrow I have quite a lot of lessons. And then on Thursday I'm going to Belgium for a few days. So I'm very busy. That's why I'm recording today. Um, but I wanted to record anyways because I haven't seen you guys for a long time, so um, leave all your comments below because I do read all of them. You're awesome, and let's get to this. For breakfast, I first prepared some sandwiches to eat pre-dog walking as usual. I was so happy to be eating the homemade bread because the day before I'd had lots of plain white Slovak bread and... After getting used to this new homemade bread, it tasted like absolutely like shit. <laughs> um, I probably won't really have time, as I promised before, to make a video of how I make this bread. So, um, as you can see here in a little small corner of the screen, that's how I made it. 
with an all-inclusive package that you can probably buy only in Belgium. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there is good news. You can also make this awesome bread yourself. All you need is yeast, flour, water, possibly some, some seeds or some nuts or um, some olives if you like, and butter. It's also really nice um, to make a Italian style bread, in which case I use um, olive oil instead of butter and I also add in um, oregano and of course in any bread you need to add some, some spices, some salt, some sugar and you throw it all together, you mix very well, then you let it rise, then you mix again, then you let it rise, then you put it in the oven. But I will be posting the specifics on my blog, so check that out below. So back to my breakfast. This morning my sister had to be dropped off at a summer camp that she's helping out at and my mom was driving. So I found the time to start eating my sandwiches because I was quite hungry and quite bored and I recorded for a longer period of time also showing my dogs in the trunk but then for some reason the recording stopped I think my memory was full so I recorded again this morning and uh, now you can see the doggies We got back from the rather short dog walk by 9.15 and I prepared myself a nice little breakfast. I've been eating just oatmeal with banana and of course milk, cinnamon, sea seeds. Um, I've been eating that pretty much all week so I decided to change it up a bit. Just kidding. I didn't really decide to. It was just that we had run out of bananas and almost out of milk. Anyway, I couldn't miss my oats entirely, so um, my breakfast bowl this morning was a bit of oats with the remainder of milk that I then, of course, microwave for a bit and let cool. Then I added in a large apple. We had a small apple and a large apple, and I couldn't care less about the small apple. I'm just keeping that for... <laughs> for my mom or my sister to eat. Um, so I added the large apple and some Greek yogurt. Um, I added one of the remaining dried peaches and I ate the other one. And now we're also out of dried fruits. I think we really need to go grocery shopping. After I finished preparing my breakfast, of course, it was time to post a nice little photo on my newly created Instagram. As is um, pretty much always the case when the weather is this nice, breakfast was out in the sun. It's going to be nearly 30 degrees today, um, so why stay inside if you can go out? I didn't realize my head looked quite so weird partway in the shadow though, but you know, gives it a bit of a mysterious touch, doesn't it? Just FYI, if the video looks a bit weird here, it's because I cut out quite a lot of sections because my mom was sort of parading in her bikini and walking by quite a few times and I thought that maybe she won't really be particularly fond of the idea of being in her bikini all over the internet. When I finished my yogurt, my dog was more than happy to lick the bowl. I think he likes yogurt even more than I do.
I don't feel like yogurt is quite as filling as my usual oatmeal breakfast. Um, so that's also why I added oats. But I ended up being hungry quite early anyway, so... I went and cut up some watermelon because we had some watermelon left, so why not? I also started preparing lunch at around 11.30. But it took a while to make, so I guess I must have been having my lunch by 12 o'clock. On to lunch. Yesterday evening we also went to a restaurant for dinner. So sadly we had no more warm leftovers for me to eat. So bread it was. Since we have that bread machine here, I don't even really care about eating bread because it's delicious. Um, I was gonna make some scrambled eggs and um, eat my bread with some, some salty butter and some scrambled eggs. But I'm recording today, so why eat just boring stuff, right? So I changed my mind. I made some tuna salad. All you need is a can of tuna. In my case I got two because after I emptied the first one um, I thought it probably wouldn't be enough because I absolutely love tuna. You also need mayonnaise, another thing that I finished completely which we also need to go buy at the store. Um, some parsley, some pepper, and if you like, you can also add some, some chili or, or some salt or some other spices, whatever you like. Um, so I started by adding the tuna, then I added the mayonnaise. I got some fresh parsley from the garden, decided that it wasn't enough, got some more parsley, um, added my pepper, added my spices, and mix it up. Then of course I spread a nice little layer on my bread and enjoyed it out in the sun before deciding again that I needed some more parsley. Then I had a four slice of bread with some chocolate because, well, I usually need to end off with chocolate because, yeah, chocolate. So today at three o'clock I had a lesson, an I had to teach an English lesson and um, they always give me some cakes to eat or some cookies, usually usually some sort of chocolate cake or uh, pudding cake or coffee cake or whatever. Um, but this time it was some sort of um, Austrian cookies. Um, they were they were okay, I guess. I had a better snack the day before. Um, it's quite a funny anecdote, so I'll just share it with you. Um, I actually met up with a friend, and when he went to get some beer, I asked if maybe he wanted to get me a Cornetto ice cream. Um, but there were two flavors. There was strawberry, or there was chocolate. Um, so, you know, he went and got me both. I, I honestly, I couldn't stop laughing. I'm like, two ice creams? What? Um, externally... Yeah, I was laughing. Internally, it was probably a little more complicated. But you know, in the end, it's all for a good cause. So, stand strong. So of course, after my two hour long lesson, I um, walked back up the hill to my house. 
Um, yeah, it's really not very far from where I live. Um, going there takes about five to ten minutes, which is awesome. Going back, well, it's more like ten minutes because it's back up the hill, sadly. But with this weather, it's it's just awesome to be outside, so I take my time and I'll arrive when I arrive. After snack, um, it must have been at around 6 o'clock, I had dinner. So that was potatoes. Potatoes with celery and um, some sort of bacon wrapped minced meat, which is quite typical in Belgium and it's absolutely delicious. Um, and of course, some sauce, we ate outside again, um, but my plate was really freaking hot, so I put it on a pillow on my lap, uh, which doesn't look quite as charming, but you know, I saved my legs. It was really delicious. I don't really know what else to say about it. My dog was laying with me and looking at my food like he too wanted some of the meat, which he didn't get. Um, but yeah, I ate that and then went off to a French meeting. Um, for the French meeting, we actually met up at uh, une petite crêperie, so a little pancake place. Um, it was really quite cute, and of course, I spoke a lot of French that evening. I really practiced my French. I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, again, my my phone memory was full, so here by just a few photos of the place and. Uh, yeah, I hope you get a bit of an idea of what it was like, the kind of things they served and, and the like. And I hope this video has, has helped you a bit, that it has been a bit of an inspiration and that you will subscribe and like this video and check out Just Perfect and stick with me for the upcoming videos. Ciao!